Hello, beautiful people. This is Trinity, your friendly neighborhood tarot reader, and I am back with another freaking video. You are seeing this correctly. This is a pick a card reading or pick a pile, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we have three piles here. This is going to be finances, career, and love life. Okay, it's going to be all the way across the board, what you should be focusing on, what's going to happen, all of that. So I'm going to start with our base cards here. And then if I need to pull more cards along the way to, for clarifiers, that's what we will do. Um, the timestamps will be down in the description box below. Also, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one private reading with myself, um, you can go ahead and click on the links to my social media where my menu, my service list will be there. Um, and then you can go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one with me. So... I am trying a new angle here, guys, so I hope this works for you all. Um, so here's the piles. I'm probably not going to insert a photo um, because you can clearly see them here, right? So pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. So go ahead and do your meditation thing. Figure out which pile is calling you, and let's get started. I will see you at your pile. Okay, pile number one, if you chose this citrine stone this is your reading so i'm going to start with the um general messages for you first um on your career finances and whatever you should be focusing on right now and then we'll move on to your love life okay so let's get started also don't mind my nails i painted them white my hair is purple semi-permanent hair dye and they fucking stained my nails so there's that okay so we have the page of swords the chariot Page of Pentacles and the Empress here. Lots of news coming in for you, Pile One. Lots of news coming in for you. Lots of creative ideas coming in to you as well. Um, I feel like there's a lot of divine messages that are going to be coming in to you um, that are going to give you these ideas that are going to, um, I'm hearing steadfast. Take that as it resonates. They're going to make their. They're going to propel you forward. Maybe steadfast wasn't the right word, but they're going to propel you forward. You're going to put into action the things that you're thinking about moving forward and doing, whether that's starting a business or it's um, going after that promotion that you did not think that you were qualified for. Spirit saying you're qualified for it. Okay? Go for it. Do it. Why not? YOLO. Okay? You're really grounding yourself here in finances. You're really taking action in... Um, Sorry, I had to make sure it's still recording. You're really taking action in what it is that you want financially. It's like maybe you're reading books upon it. Maybe you're getting a financial advisor. Maybe you're getting more serious about saving. Maybe you're picking up a second job here to, um, to be able to save. I don't feel like money is necessarily an issue for you at this time. Things might be a little tight, um, but it's not like you're broke, if that makes sense. Um, and if you are feeling that way, spirit saying you're not, you need to start being grateful for what you do have. Um, just like I said here, your 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 ideas are coming into fruition. You're 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 listening to your intuition here. You're really in tune. And if this is not where you are, this is where you're going to be. You're getting in tune here um, with your spiritual side, which is therefore going to connect you with some greater ideas um, that can propel you forward for financially. Okay. And so let's go ahead and see. I kind of want to pull some more tarot for you guys and see what's going on. Anything else for pile number one? Let's pull some more tarot before we go into your love life. What's going on for pile number one? Any other messages for pile number one, Spirit? Yeah, the Queen of Wands here. To me, this card represents, and I read intuitively, FYI, just in case. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up because, like I said, I'm doing a whole new setup. So bear with me here, guys. Okay, so Queen of Wands here. This particular card here in this deck really represents listening to your intuition. I feel like the Black Cat represents your spirit, guys, represents your intuition. You're really becoming one with this. I mean, if, if you don't study the card, you can't, you can almost go 
go right over this cat if that makes sense. I can't think of the words. Um, but you'll look right over it and won't even think a thing because they're so in, intertwined with each other. But she's creating magic here. She's got her wand and, and she's creating magic. She's creating that fire. She's going after what she wants. Okay, that's a card of manifestation there. Okay, here we go with some more wand energy. Very passionate about what it is that you're doing. There's a lot of oomph behind it, okay? Um, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or starting, like continue with that. There's a lot of fiery energy behind it, yeah. So continue on this path, okay? And if this is not the energy you're in, this is something you're gonna be coming into. I feel like for the other half of you, pile number one, you guys are feeling kind of drained and maybe you guys don't feel as enthused as you were, as you once were about this situation or about your life. But Spirit is saying that everything that you wish for is coming into fruition here with the Nine of Cups. This is the Fulfillment of Wishes card, okay? But once you get to your wishes, don't think that that's it. There's more, there's more to come. There's more to do. There's more action to put into things. You feel me? Okay? So let's get on with your love life. So you're looking good uh, career-wise, um, finances, you're moving in the right direction, okay? You are on the right path for those of you that are in this energy already. For those of you that are not, you're coming into this. You're going to have an epiphany, epiphany um, and it's going to set you on the right path of where you need to be, what you need to be doing, where you need to be going. So here's your love life. The connection you're in right now is a true love connection, okay? I think I'm going to, I want to try to move these cards. I don't know... Hopefully you guys can actually see what's happening here. Okay, so the connection you're in is a true love connection. This is a romance of a lifetime. Let go of control issues, okay? I feel like pile number one, you guys are very, very worried. Is this the one? Like, um, are we going to make it? Da, 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 da. There's just so many questions running through your head, pile number one. And Spirit's saying, let go. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? There's no need to control the situation because it is true love. We're reassuring you that this is the real deal. And if this is not you and you're not in a connection right now and you're single, this could possibly be something that is coming into you, okay? All right? Or you could be discovering self-love and how to really truly love yourself. But by, by loving yourself, you're also bringing in the energy of, of a divine counterpart, okay? Some of you need to release your ex. Some of you are still boohooing over your ex. And it's kind of like, they were no good for you, okay? Or you guys were no good for each other. We don't need to play blame games. You don't need to mull over the situation. You don't need fucking closure, okay? I don't know how many times I've had to tell myself this with past relationships. Well, mainly my last one. Or tell other people, you don't need closure, the, them leaving or your guys' relationship ending was all the closure that you needed, okay? So work on releasing those soul ties with your exes, okay? Um, because you're not going to get to this Nine of Cups still being in this energy, this woe is me energy, okay? So pound number one, that is all I'm getting for you. I really hope that this resonated and I will see you all in the next video. Okay, pile number two, if you chose this stone which I forgot, I totally forgot the name of the stone. If you know what the name of the stone is, please comment that in the section below. It's actually very beautiful. I don't think you can really see how gorgeous it really is. But anyways, if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So we're gonna start with the general messages for your career, finances, all of that here, and then we'll move into your love life, all right? Let's get started. Oh, bam. Spirit said, we're going to start with the love life here, baby. Okay? Very fiery. Oneness, unity, connected at the hip. Okay? Be careful of codependency, though, I'm hearing, because it could, it could turn into that. Although, I don't feel that energy for you, pile number two. Um, not for yourself, but for the other person. I'm saying, like, they could become very codependent on you. Like, your energy is so intoxicating is what I'm hearing to them very intoxicating like it's like um you know what this is reminding me of i don't know if anybody has seen the movie avatar when they connect their hairs or whatever that 
long piece of hair is and it's like they're doing the do I don't know maybe <laughs> but very passionate I feel like that's how connected you are it's like you're one I'm feeling very a uh, lots of soulmate energy here um, between the two of you there's an unspoken language that no one else knows you guys can even probably um, speak to each other telepathically you don't even need to say a word you can literally sit in the room all day with each other and um, communicate without any without any words and just enjoy each other's company there's a lot of passion here um, I feel like some of you are entrepreneurs um, or thinking about jumping into starting your own business here so you're saying go for it continue on to that because why not what the fuck do you have to lose you know what I'm saying continue on to that because this person is um, in the regular right rider weight deck this person is looking out at their ships in the background and they are looking out at their stuff being shipped off to all these different parts of the world so they're making that moolah they're making that money honey they're getting to the bag so keep going because I mean you have love here you've got success here you've got hope here I mean there's hope in this person but this star card is beauty in your situation there's hope in your situation you're very connected to the divine source here so you're making you're getting these downloads that are help propelling you into this nine of Pentacles energy like you are see you're harvesting the things that you've reaped and if this is not the energy you're in then baby get into alignment with your spirit guys get into alignment with the universe because you universe is like honey your crops are done growing we're ready for you to harvest and reap what you've sown and some of you are like for some reason missing the whole fucking point i don't know why but let's see what's going on here i'm gonna pull a few more um tarot here for you uh pile number pile number two let me just uh shuffle here whoa 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 i'm not the greatest shuffler so let's not let's just pretend just pretend okay but yeah some of you are like not see, seeing that okay there's the tomato go pick it because it's ready and it's ripe and some of you are stepping right over it like where's my blessing where's my blessing some of you guys are not even seeing it and some of you are with your love partner already right now and that's the thing you're not seeing also like you're looking right over it. You ask for this once in a lifetime love and it's there and you're treating it like it's an everyday situation. Cherish what you have right now, pile number two, okay? The other half of you are totally in love. Some of you are single and this is what you're wanting to come into, which that can come into fruition. You know, you're a magician. Each and every one of us are magical. You can call in love. Just be careful what you're calling in though. You know what I'm saying? Be careful what you wish for. Be very specific about the type of love connection you want. You know, you want it to be res uh, re res residual, mm -hmm, whatever, take it as it resonates. You want it to be reciprocated is what I was trying to say. You want it to be real. You want it, you know what I'm saying? So let's go, let's see. Any more messages for pile number two, spirit? But yeah, you guys are ripping, ripping, reaping what you've sown. Like, so if you've sown good seed, honey, like you're picking your shit, all right? You're filling your basket. Pile number two. Lots of love here. Like I said, that lover's card is right there, baby, in your face. Anything else for pile number two? I'm hoping this angle works, guys. Yeah, Knight of Cups. If you're single, this person is coming in here, okay? They they want to offer you a, a, a cup right once the, once you guys establish that relationship if you guys are um not single in a committed relationship or just dating this person wants to ascend with you they want to level up this relationship with you okay um if you're married and in, in a super committed situation they also want to level up with you but they want to propose to you again in some sort of way they want to make a declaration of their love for you um again once again is what i'm hearing they want to renew is what i'm hearing okay so like i there's going to be, um, yeah, there's ascension here for you just all the way across the board. Spirit is opening your mind to all the ways of the universe. Like some of you are getting your wigs pulled back, your wig caps pulled back and you're like, what? Cause some of y'all have been doing some research. Some of y'all have been doing some research, diving deeper into your spirituality and, and the universe and, and numbers and all of that. You're seeing number sequences possibly. Okay, you're seeing a lot of coincidences. There are no such thing as coincidences in my world. Everything happens for a reason and everything is divinely guided. What else is going on for pile number two, spirit? 
Yeah, look at that. The sun card right over the nine of pentacles, baby. Wake the fuck up and pick your harvest, girl, boy, friend, okay? Like, it is fucking time. It is time. Look at the bottom of the deck. Six of wands. You're divinely guided, baby, okay? You're being celebrated. People will know your name, okay? Even if it's on a smaller scale, they will know your name. But if you push to greatness, they will know your name on a bigger scale if that's what you're looking for. If, if you're looking for that, that fame or recognition, you are going to get that recognition here, okay? You're going to be gaining that clarity. If you're in some sort of a funk, you're coming out of that this month. Okay, and if it's not this month going into February, you're definitely coming out of that. So all the way across the board, you're looking good in finances for real. You're looking good in love. You're looking good spiritually and mentally here. And if you're not feeling that way, this is the energy that you have to look forward to. But it's up to you to step into this, this, this energy. Okay, okay. All right, so let's move on to your love life, healing family issues. Okay, hopefully this is not a distraction. I'm trying a new angle here, guys, so hopefully this works. Um, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some of you are working on some healing here so you can bring in that love or or you're you're working on that healing so that way your your current relationship can be better. Okay, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So learn to be in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Like your partner is very attracted to you and the light that you bring, okay? Like I said, they're, they're, your love is intoxicating, okay? Honeymoon. So enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe it's time to go on a little mini vacation, take a weekend, you know, or go on date night or, or shit. I don't know. Make some time for your honey, okay? Make some time for your honey. And if you're single, then maybe you need to make some time for yourself, you know, and work on these, fam these healing family issues, you know, these childhood issues. You feel me? So that is really all that I'm getting for you, pile number two. I'm not really getting any more downloads at this time. So overall, your harvest is here, baby. You just need to step into that. Really get into it, okay? And don't be afraid of success because you're successful already in everything that you're doing. Everything that you have right now, you manifested that. Good, bad, and ugly. You manifested it. So remember that. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And I hope that this, um, well, I'll see whoever comes back. You feel me? But, um, <laughs> um, yeah. I hope that this resonated with you, pile number two. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, pile number three, if you chose the appetite stone, sorry if it's blurry, but if you chose this stone, this is your reading for finances, career, all the way across the board, your love life, all of that. So we're going to start with our general messages here, and then we're going to move into your love life. Okay, let's do this. And then if I need to, I'll pull some extra cards and all that. You know the deal. All right. Five of Wands, Page of Wands, Death Card, Death and Rebirth, and the Three of Swords. Okay, a lot of you are feeling conflicted, okay? This could be arguments in the home with family. If you, you might not be getting along with family at this moment, at this time, maybe members of your household or just family in general. Sorry for the shakiness, okay? Bear with me. Um... I feel like this is a lot of mental conflict. You 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 really just don't know what you're doing with your life. Pile number three. Mo some of you um, don't know what you're doing with your life right now. You don't know what you want to do. You don't really know what your passion is, and you need to just do. You need to do a lot of different things to find what your passion is. I don't know. Maybe start a YouTube channel. Just start talking about some shit. Do a mukbang, paint. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, write a book, write a story, um, start a blog, um, you know, I don't know, just do a whole bunch of shit to figure out what it is that you're passionate about. Some of you already know what you're passionate about, just don't know how to put it into play. Oh my God, I don't know why this thing is shaking so much. Sorry. Okay, so the page, page of wands here, wands are passionate energy to me, very fiery. Okay, so you're, you're extremely conflicted, okay? But you're very passionate about life, which is why you're still here, is what I'm hearing. A lot of people have wanted to give up. Don't give up, baby, because I know this is painful. Pile number three, your pile looks very painful. But there is light here, you know what I'm saying? The pages are um, 
normally messenger is here so um i don't know this is standing out to me this salamander i don't know what it is lizard look up what the uh lizard is spiritually see if that resonates with you but there is going to be some um passion here uh, something that's an idea that's coming into you some news that's going to create that's going to ignite some passion for you it's going to put that oomph back into your it's going to put some pep in your step pretty much Okay, so Spirit's saying don't give up. Do not give up because we, we're, we're bringing something into fruition here for you, even if it's just as an idea. Um, we're going to give that passion back to you. It's up to you to receive that, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. In fact, I feel like it's most of you are leaving your old life, stepping into this new. Okay, you're stepping into the energy of love. All right. Some of you, like, I feel like these are going hand in hand. You're very heartbroken. You're in pain. A lot of you are in pain, whether that be by the hands of a loved one, um, somebody that you dated. Um, this is probably what kicked off your spiritual awakening. This is probably what kicked it all off for you is this broken heart. But um, yeah, you're definitely going through a transformation and it's very painful for you right now. So it's probably hard for you to see the messages that are coming in because I feel like spirits already giving you messages already give you synchronicity synchronicities however you say it somebody let me know <laughs> um spirits already giving you signs of what it is you need to be doing giving you signs that hey look up you're on the right path you're doing well you're doing okay you know what I'm saying um spirits giving you that those messages let me pull some more cards here for you I'm going to cleanse this deck in the smoke here I'm burning some incense some money incense okay we putting that uh we putting good money vibes in the air all right what's going on with pile number three what's going on with my star seed babies they're going through a hard time right now spirit let's give them some good news well there's always good news guys even in if it looks bad trust and believe look i'm not the best shuffler so don't talk about my shuffling okay i hear you um <laughs> i'm talking to you pile number three but um, yeah, there's always good in each and every situation. I know it's hard to see at times because you could be in so much pain here um, or there could just be so much shit going on back to back to back to back. I kind of feel like that might be how pile number three is feelings for some of you. Like shit is just happening back to back. And for some of you are actually handling this um, transformation very gracefully, even though it's painful to you. I feel like some of you have lost family members. Um... And so that is what triggered, really propelled you into your awakening. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you, 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 like I said, look at the bottom of the deck here. You're leaving your old life and really stepping into who you are. Okay? Really stepping into who you are. Yeah, the Spirit's bringing in new ideas. The aces are beginnings. This is going to be the beginning of your new journey here there's more pages here yeah spirits giving you new ideas giving you a newfound passion here okay you are going to be in control of your emotions you are going to be able to make a lot more logical decisions okay you need to trust yourself and step into this king of swords energy here because this is somebody that's very logical okay they make sound decisions not based off their emotions they take everything into consideration not just their emotion. They definitely don't use their emotions to make any decisions, okay? And they're very divinely guided by all of these spirit animals here. So look up the bat, look up the owl, look up the crow. See what those things have to do um, with spirituality, okay? The spiritual meaning of these things is that those might be very... There's a lot of bird energy here, too. I mean, look at the birds here. So look up that. There's even birds here in this Three of Swords. I feel like... Um, you could be attracting birds. I know at one point in time on my journey, um, I birds would fly up to me like I like hummingbirds right in my face. Um, cardinals would be landing next to me. All this kind of like weird stuff. It freaked me out at first because like they're flying right at you, right? Um, but in, in even still, look at this six of swords as well. Just like I showed you, there's birds. So look up the spiritual meaning of birds, okay? Those could be your spirit guides trying to inform you of something. They're trying to get your attention because I feel like they've tried to give you number synchronicities. They've tried to give you other signs that you're not seeing. And so now they're they're getting a little bit more aggressive because they're like, we absolutely need you to see this, okay, honey? <laughs> so pay attention to those signs. Don't be afraid, okay? You are protected, 
Just know that. Um, and if you're not feeling in this energy, the King of Swords, this is something you're going to be stepping into, okay? You need to move forward into what it is that you know you should be doing. This is your inner knowing here. You know what it is you need to be doing. Your pain, she, her, look at her. She's walking through life with her eyes closed because she is divinely guided. She is solely working from her intuition right now. And that's the place you need to be in, pile number three. So let's, let's take a look at your love life. What is going on? Passion. There's a lot of, what did I say though? With the wands, there's passion, okay? There's a lot of passion going on here. Deception. So passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Deception, someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, so some of you may, it, it doesn't always look as bad as it is. There might be some hidden feelings. I don't feel like there's hidden agendas. There's definitely some hidden feelings here. Maybe somebody is stressing out and they're not really talking to their partner about it. Maybe this you're not really speaking to your partner about what it is you're going through spiritually because you're afraid that they're not going to understand. Um, but it's time for you to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world for a little bit, even if that's just with yourself or with your honey, um, whoever that is. <laughs> if you're single, then it, it's time for you to kind of take a break from socials, you know, take a break from social media. Have a day to yourself where you're just, you don't even check your social media, you know, or a few hours. I would say a whole day if you can stand to do it. Really step outside your comfort zone and try something different. Do some yoga that, plan a whole day where you're not doing anything on social media, where you don't have to check your phone, okay? Plan a whole day for yourself. Take yourself to eat. Go to the park if it's not too cold where you live. Um, do some yoga. Do something creative. Cook a meal you've been wanting to cook for a, for a long time. Play a game with your with your family or your honey, whoever it is. Uh, I don't know. There's these card games out now that they have little intimate questions you can be asking and shit like that. So try one of those card games or something or just play a board game with your boo. Okay, don't be afraid of this card. I feel like it's you, pile number three, that's being, not that you're being deceiving, because you know what I'm saying? It's just that you are hiding how you truly feel. You might be more stressed out than the average and you don't want to stress your partner out. So therefore, you're not really expressing your stresses right now. But your partner is very passionate about you. So they're going to be open to what you have to say. So I feel like before you explode into this, okay, this is what you're doing on the inside. This will come out. You know what I'm saying? So before this happens and explodes on the outside and you blow up on everybody, you need to speak to your significant other. Tell them how you're feeling. Say, hey, boo, I need to, you know, I need to just blow some steam off. I need you to be my, my listening ear right now. And if you need their advice, let them know. But let them know. But communicate with them and let them know if you just need to vent. Hey, boo, I just need to vent real quick. You know what I'm saying? Either way it goes, find someone to vent to because I feel like you need it before you explode, pile number three. That is all I'm getting for you. I feel like you're good all the way across the board with your finances. Um, you're moving in the right direction. You just really need to get out of this funk so you can become clear-headed um, on what it is that you're going to be doing next and how you're going to be moving forward. Just remember that you are your co-creator co of your own, own little universe. So whatever it is you think and say that is what's coming into fruition for you pile number three okay so i hope that this resonated with you and i will see you all in the next video sending you all my love and light bye